Why is this a far one again? Never mind. Well, hello, lovely viewers. Welcome back to another episode. Supposedly, this should be episode 9. Gotta put some fireworks up after this. That was close. <sighs> Sometimes the quests are just so far away from the teleportation waypoints. It's kind of annoying, but just let it be. We can't do much about it, anyways. I'll catch up. <sighs> now that the Inazuma region has came up. I got to get some more stamina, I believe. As a dutiful maid would. You know what? Forget it. I don't mean about the stamina. I mean about getting to him first. Because there's someone that needs to be spammed. <laughs> Enough. Do I hear a abyss mage again? Ah, oh. whatever. I'm not going to destroy him. The story is more important. Where am I looking at? Whoa! This mine is huge. This is where the incident occurred. Six days ago, a group of us left the site to attend to other matters. When we returned, the four men we'd left behind had vanished. I led a team around the entire mine, but found no trace. That's when I decided to enlist help. So four miners have disappeared. Yes, there were ten of us. We lost Long, Bold Sen, Brave Sen, and Mao. I worked with all of them. Workers in this trade are usually young men in the prime of their lives. Could it be that the four of them left for another mine? <sighs> Unlikely. There's no other lodging for miles around, and we didn't pass any other mines on the way over. Huh. Such a huge mine. Did you really manage to explore every corner? Underground, overground. We left no stone unturned. We tried everything short of... Digging further into the earth itself. How could four sturdy young men just vanish into the bedrock? We'll need to explore the site ourselves 
before extracting any conclusions. Very well. I'll wait here. Please, proceed wherever you'd like. If you come across any clues, let me know straight away. So strange. How could the four of them just suddenly disappear? Did they run away from something? Let's look around first and see if we can find any clues. On it. I'll leave the investigations to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just picking up some samples to see if there's anything like such as a uh, absorbing human rock. Over here, what's this? A pile of shirts, some trousers, huh. a few everyday items. They must belong to Uncle Dai and his men. One, two, three, four... Huh, that seems right. Ten shirts, ten pairs of trousers. These must be spares, right? Look, Uncle Dai's clothes are identical. The four of them have been gone for six days without a change of clothes. There's also a few handkerchiefs, and some soap lying around. Oh, and some tool belts! Items for washing one's face before the dawn shift. Mining equipment. So, they didn't take any supplies. Hmm. Correct. Maybe they didn't need it? I don't think so, but... Uh, these are the only two options for me, so... Improbable. There are four pickaxes missing. It seems likely they left with the tools of their trade. They had time to take their tools, but not their everyday items? Curious. Huh. Why would someone set off with their tools, but leave their luggage behind? One, they were working close by and didn't need to move their personal effects. But seeing as they've yet to return, this seems an unlikely hypothesis. Or two, they were forced to leave, and had no time to think about their supplies. Oh. Do you think someone kidnapped them? Or, in this case, it's adult nap? It's certainly a possibility. We'll need more clues before any further inference can be made. If they didn't leave, maybe they were made to leave. Let's make a note and let Uncle Dai know. Hmm. Mysterious. Right on time. Did you find anything? There's a chunk of ore here. Perhaps there are clues within. Or what does it have to do with the disappearance? Let's find out. I'll give it a try. A moment, please. <sighs> okay. really hard. What's he up to? I see. Four men following someone out of the mine. It... it looks like a child. A child? What's a child doing in a mine? 
collecting jade for Osayo to return again? Wait, it isn't that child, right? I'm not sure. Also, how did you see anything exactly? Oh, I don't mean see in the traditional sense. I, I, I would appreciate it if what I'm about to tell you remained a secret. It's a little odd. I've never dared to tell anyone before. I can perceive the memories of Orr. Huh? Perceive? So there's no conjecture at work? You mean you can put your hand on a rock and boom, it just happens? I've always sensed that Orr contains memories. Sometimes it records events that occur in the surrounding area. All I have to do is touch one and focus my attention, and the memories come to me. Amazing! So you can find out everything that ever happened there! It depends on the ore. Some ores have astounding memories. Others, like iron ore and white iron ore, aren't up to much. Their memories are hazy. Core lapis and crystal memories are much stronger. They record more events and in greater detail. Stone seeing. Fascinating. A rare ability indeed. It was prudent of Uncle Dai to recruit you, Mr. Kunjun. <laughs> I'm glad I can be of assistance. Based on what I saw, I believe they followed this path. This will take us north, away from the mine. North? Another clue for Uncle Dai! Let's make a note of it! Could it be that the child I saw Kidnap them? Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Nah, yeah, just kidding. That, that's someone else. Excuse me, sir. Are you one of the workers here? Ah, yes, yes. You must be here about the disappearance. Please, find them if you can. I... I don't know what happened. The weather was gloomy that day. The foreman left with a few men. I stayed behind with the other four. After a while, I decided to take a break. Just to catch my breath, I ended up falling asleep in the shelter inside. When I woke up, there was no sight of them. I'd only just been speaking with them and suddenly... they'd vanished. Maybe... maybe I'm next. So the men that were out working disappeared, with the only one left to tell the tale having been asleep in a shelter. Perhaps an accident occurred on site. Ah, oh, what a scary thought. An on-site accident. We should note that down too. Found some clues. Time to report back to Uncle Dai. Where did my friends disappear to? <laughs> I tremble just thinking about it. Don't worry. I doubt that they have, well, really just vanished. You're back. How are the investigations going? We found three clues in the vicinity. First, there are four missing pickaxes. Yet everyday items are still in their place. This suggests that your men didn't leave of their own accord, but were forced to. Forced to? But who would kidnap miners? Who indeed? Second, there were five workers at the mine. One of them left the site to take respite. When he awoke, his colleagues had disappeared without a trace. Those who kept working all disappeared. The one who left early emerged safe and sound. It would appear that the incident occurred on site. Now that you mention it, I recall Bravo saying that he took a break. Could someone have entered the site and simply walked away with them? This leads me to my third point. Mr. Kun Jun here made good use of his uh, expert techniques to arrive at a conclusion. It was a child that took your men away. A child? But there are no settlements here for miles around. 
There's no way a child would have made it over to the mine. Unlikely as it sounds, that's our conclusion. Your men were following a child. Where did they go? We believe that they followed the road north, away from the mine and toward the ruins. North? Right. I'll rally my men and head in pursuit. Do you need help? You've been invaluable to the investigation, but leave the legwork to us. If we set off now and make haste, we might be able to catch them. Not so fast. The incident occurred six days ago. Even if they set out on foot, they will have covered a lot of ground by now. <sighs> You're right. New plan. I'll lead my search party over to the settlements further out and make some inquiries. There are only a few settlements around here with lodging for the night. We'll go investigate and see if we can come up with anything. In the meantime, you could keep looking for clues. If we don't see each other, let's reconvene at Wang Shu Win tomorrow evening. Agreed. All right. Me and my men will get going. So, they're gonna talk to the people over at the settlements while we keep investigating here. Correct. But there aren't any more clues at the mine. Shouldn't we go north? Wait. I believe we're missing someone. Huh? Oh, yeah! Where's Kunjun? Paimon bets he's still investigating. Let's go find him. Well, I doubt he, he has went anywhere. Yep, he's over there. <laughs> of course. Kunjun, what are you searching for? We're all out of clues. Let's get going. Ah, apologies. I'm conducting a quick search for my own benefit. I'm looking for a precious stone known as Dragonfall. Dragonfall? Not my area of expertise. Dragonfall is often used in forging. What use do you have for it? I... I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't recall why I'm seeking it. I've been feeling very absent lately. Name and address aside, I'm having trouble remembering things. In fact, I've been feeling extremely anxious, as if there's something I've forgotten to finish. It's an unpleasant sensation. Oh, Paimon knows that feeling, when you know you've forgotten something, but you can't remember exactly what it is. <sighs> I don't even know where to start with it. I've been aimlessly wandering. That day at the market, I overheard a conversation while I was buying something. They mentioned Dragonfall. It sounded so familiar to me, as if whatever it was I had to do was linked to that stone. So I decided to look for some. Perhaps if I can retrieve some, I'll remember what it is I have to do. I see. If I am able to during our endeavor, I will help you look for this stone. Really? Oh, thank you, Mr. Zhang Li. You're too kind. Think nothing of it. Shouldn't we get going? Heading north from the chasm will reach Lingju Pass. If this is indeed the path they chose, there will be traces. Footprints. Great! Let's have a look. <laughs> I see some things that I'm not supposed to occur. And if I don't deal with them... Yep, something bad will happen. Also, I'm wondering, when will the first dental character sh be in-game? I doubt that the first character will be Baizu. Because if he is the first character, then he will be out by long, a long, long time ago. 
there has to be something that makes the game not wanting to create a Dendro character. Not that Dendro is the most par powerful element in the game. I bet it's something else. I must leave no stone unturned. Time to clean up. I'll leave no stone unturned. Wait, where is the key? I don't like being wet. Um... Um... Please don't tell me that's the key, because I can't get it. Oh no. Oh, <sighs> good, good. It wasn't the key, and that's the wrong menu. Hi there! What do you plan to do now? Right. Well, onwards. Wait, there are tracks here. These must have been left by the miners. Let us make our way to the end of Lingju Pass. If there are no footprints there, it would suggest that the miners are still within the pass itself. However, if we find new tracks, we can follow them wherever they may lead. Sure. How did they see me? Uh, never mind.
just checking my level if I need to fight that ruin guard. appear that they made their way through Lingju Pass and kept moving. If we follow their footprints, we should be able to find where they went! I'm not going to touch the Ruin Guard because I don't want to activate another quest by accident. We should inquire with anyone nearby. If the miners came through here, they may well have seen them. Uh. Hi there! Have you seen anyone dressed like a miner around here? A miner? I'm afraid not. Uh, let's try someone else. Thanks for the info. Hello! Have you seen any miners nearby? About this tall? Four of them? Stop bothering me! Can't you see I'm cloud watching? Jeez! A little grumpy, aren't we? Whatever. Let's go ask someone else. Bye bye. Uh. I'll come back, okay? Uh, you know what? Never mind. Uh. Beg for mercy. Boom, boom. Um, is he broken? He's broken. Hey there! Uh, seen any miners? It must have been about four or five days ago. There were a few men who came through here carrying baskets and picks. I guess that could have been them. Yeah, that's them! Four or five days ago? It appears that they were moving slower than we'd anticipated. Traversing the geography of Lingju Pass must have held them up. It was so strange. Four big guys with lifeless expressions. It was like they were in some sort of trance. And there was a child staggering in front of them. Huh. Uh, this child. Did you see what they look like? I caught a glimpse. Blue hair. Short. I think... I think it was a girl. She wasn't smiling. In fact, she looked very serious. And they took this road? Yes, they followed it straight from here. Let's go after them! Hmm... Something weird is definitely happening, and... I do not want to mess with the Fatui now. It's not worth my time. <laughs> I'm in a story and the Fatumi. Hey, more footprints. Looks like we're on the right way. Uh, as I was saying, the Fatumi will just mess me up. And what? Yep. More footprints. <gasps> There's a person over there. Help! Please save me. Is that one of the people we're looking for? Later. Be gone. These guys. Steady as stone. Time to clean up. Freeze to the core. Windblade. Incinerate. Rapid flame. Leave it up to me. 
Motion to compel. Balls. You don't worth anything. were so aggressive they must have noticed me walking through before I knew it they were all over me thank you all for saving me my name is Wan Yu I belong to Liyue Sheng Yu Hall I head up our human culture and civilization research huh? are you sure you're not a miner a miner yeah we're looking for a group of four strong fellows carrying mining equipment I I think I saw those people. Really? Yes. I set off from Nantianmen the day before yesterday, heading for Lingju Pass. About halfway there, I came across some people. A few men and a child. Can you be a bit more specific? I was in a hurry. I didn't get a good look. I'm afraid I'm not even sure what they looked like. Apologies. I think that's all we needed to hear. Thank you. I hope it's useful to you. I'd better get going. There's a conference I need to attend. Again, thank you all for your help. Hmm. According to this scholar, the miners were heading for Nantianmen. Can we be absolutely sure that it was the men that we're looking for? A child with a group of adults sounds pretty close to Paimon. It could easily have been a different group. Uh, what? Hey, perhaps that rock over there can tell us more. Aha! Uh -huh. Paimon nearly forgot about our secret weapon! It looks promising. I'll do my best. It's the same group, all right. They followed this road. <laughs> Mr. Kunjun, your stone seeing is something I won't forget in a hurry. I suppose it is an asset, though I rarely find a use for it. But praise for Mr. Zhongli is high praise indeed. It's a good thing we brought our Kunjun compass along. We would have lost all sense of direction a long time ago. <laughs> you think so? I guess it's been a worthwhile trip then. It feels like... like we're cracking a criminal case. It's a lot of fun. Be that as it may, we would do well to keep our guards high. Four fully grown men in a trance-like state, walking ceaselessly day and night, over hills and mountains led by a child. This is no ordinary incident. Oh, you're quite right, Mr. Zhongli. We should have our wits about us. That's not all. Our scholar was attacked by Geo-Bishop Hatchlings, but the level of aggression they exhibited was... unusual. We have encountered many clues along the way. So far, they've pointed us in the right direction. Hmm. The miners headed in the direction of Nantianmen the day before yesterday. From here, they would have had to navigate a perilous mountain road. If their destination is indeed Nantianmen, we should be able to catch up with him. Great! No time to lose! I left a mark in the vicinity just now. If Uncle Dai does pass through here, it should guide him to us. Clever thinking! A classic Zhongli move!
All right, guys. Before we go deeper into Nan Tian Men, I would like to end the episode over here, just to keep a mystery, and also to take a small drink out of my fairy and mint first. Anyways, thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like and also leave a comment. We'll all see you in the next area. See you guys. Bye.